Here we have a slightly used 2024 Ram 2500. Now this one comes in the limited trim level. It's also a night edition. This color is the billet silver metallic. And then we have the black limited leather interior. Just a really good looking truck inside and out. But the powertrain consists of a 6.7 liter inline six turbo diesel engine. Made it with a six speed automatic transmission. And this one has a little under 8,000 miles. But to the front end here, LED daytime running lights, LED headlamps, LED fog lights. Nice aggressive, but still sophisticated front fascia here. Really like how the, the grill's blacked out and then how the headlamps, fog lights shine. Down here, these are 20 inch gloss black aluminum wheels. We'll get past the keyless entry on the front power deployed running boards and I love the trim throughout memory seat functions power windows with one touch automatic up and down for the front and then power door locks rear window lock power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitors that we can pick a side there and adjust right here in the middle and then we do have the the lights that come off the mirrors there It's always fun having those. Then bottle holders here. We do get a Harman Kardon premium sound system, headlamp controls, parking brake release, and we have a foot pedal brake there. Hood release. And then we do have a tilt steering wheel and power adjustable pedals right in there. There's a power driver's seat, two-way power lumbar support. Just trying to take a look at everything. Pause anywhere you need to. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna check out this rear seat room. So pretty good space back here, even with these pretty big seats that are pretty adjustable. Seat back pockets are on both sides. We have three stage heated outboard seats here, USB A, USB C duos here, bottle holders, that 115 volt three prong plug in right in there. Then the middle seat folds down, two more bottle holders in there. The headspace back here is pretty good. Now this does have a power sunroof, but the roof line kind of dips back up for the rear passengers back here. So that's always nice. And then I love having the mega cab because it gives you room to hang stuff here in the back, like uniforms and such. But we're gonna check out another feature that's pretty neat. So you can grab this actually fold the seat down to get to the space back here and then you have additional cargo back there it's kind of dark but it's in there and your top tethers are here so just tons of usability for this truck and you also have the space underneath there as well of course it's a turbo diesel so it takes diesel and then you have the ram box here And then coming around to the back, LED tail lamps. And a nice exhaust pipe there, spare. And then spray on bed liner right in here. Now this one, I think, I don't know if that I believe there's an aftermarket bed cover here, but it does fit this truck pretty well. Power front passenger seat here. Two-way power lumbar as well. Seat or side pockets on both sides here. And then storage pocket here. 
traditional lockable glove compartment here and then the window sticker right in here and y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look but this stickered for hundred and five thousand one hundred eighty dollars so not cheap I love that we have that five-year hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty still I think that still might be the the one to beat on these I don't know if Ford or I don't know if Ford and Chevy still have those kind of powertrains even for their diesels. I think they all went to 60,000 miles. There's the lights on the side or on the back there. So there's that 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So, leather wrap steering wheel here, pretty nice. That's what the horn sounds like. And over here to the portrait mode screen, we do have a navigation system. If you hit that search bar there, you can find recent destinations or type in one, so on and so forth home pages here. I've always liked the visuals, the graphics in the Chrysler screen, especially in the Rams. I just think they're very nice, very colorful. Now audio, we get AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth, and then Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. Dual zone automatic climate control, so we can turn that on. And then we can adjust fan speed, auto, the heated cooled seats, the heated steering wheel, all of that, and then fan direction as well. So really like that too. And all of your controls in your vehicle settings can be gone through here. And then in the My Profile, you can adjust your units if you want to, as well as your language. And then you have just an apps menu so you can go through everything there tons of different things you can fool with and this tent's pretty dark so I apologize for the lighting but very high definition backup camera there I love that and then we have the guidelines that follow you as you turn the steering wheel get a front camera view as well and then the trailer hitch view and the bed camera which is one of my favorites and down here trailer brake controller and then things like the exhaust brake, tow haul mode. USB-C duos down here, aux input, wireless charging pad here. And then volume can be adjusted here. You can turn the whole menu off there, or the whole screen off, excuse me. And then you have a mute button down here. And then you can mess with your tune settings, so on and so forth, turn the screen off. And then also you have your buttons on the side. I forgot to mention that. So fan speed can be adjusted and temperature on either side, defroster, AC, and auto there if you don't want to actually go into this comfort screen here. Hazards are there, lane keeping system, traction control, all that can be toggled. It's a 12 bolt up there. Rear camera mirror. Turn that on or off. I'm going to start opening the sunroof. So you can actually open it there without pushing the sunshade back if you just want to open it after it's been completely closed. So that's a pretty neat feature. And then our power sliding rear window is right there. But all the buttons are right there. The lights are there. Sunglasses holder, garage door transmitter. Vanity mirror there. And then we can scoot that back, which I like. And then you have a three prong down there, 115 volt storage back in there. And then you can push this back and then use these as bottle holders. And then you have a little change drawer here as well, which is carpeted. So very luxurious. Then even the top of the center console cubby space. That's stitched up pretty nicely. USB tray or USB A port there, excuse me. And then more storage. 
So it's, it's pretty neat. I like how they did this. You can actually put longer objects in here if you want to because this is kind of like a, a partition that shuts off. But back to the steering wheel. I mean, this is a limited night edition, $105,000 truck, so there's plenty on it. Windshield wipers are here. You can miss there, high beams. And then your shifter is right in here. Reverse neutral drive. And then over here, you have your gear limiter if you want to fool with that. I'll go to the cruise first. So adaptive cruise is there. You can adjust the gap there. You also have your standard cruise. I've always liked this on the Chrysler's. You can, you have a button here for the adaptive and you can just turn on the constant speed cruise whenever and then use all the other buttons the same. So resume, cancel, set the speed. And then these four arrows and this okay button, you can go through the center console or not the center console, but the gauge cluster, excuse me. And then you have plenty of options to choose from there. And you can just change the menu within each. Well, I guess change the view within each sub menu here. So very neat. And then you can decide whether you wanna see that or not by going through, hitting this button. And then Bluetooth controls are here, but Trackless radio station presets can be gone through on the left side. And radio volume can be adjusted there. Push button start, four wheel drive controls. Finally, here's the key file with remote start. And next is time we take this 2024 Ram 2500 Mega Cab out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this 2500 Mega Cab, these are such massive trucks. The Mega Cab just has so much that it takes up. It's just a long truck. And then you still have the usability of just having a, a pretty good sized bed in the back. But these are heavy duty pickups and that's what it feels like I'm driving here. But I love the Cummins turbo diesels. They're always so much fun to drive. Now this one has been broken in, so I'm gonna give it a little pull getting on the interstate here and we're flooring it. So it gets up to speed very, very nicely. Pretty quick truck. Now it is only an inline six. It is turbo, but it's not like the bigger V8s that you can get in some of the other, in some of the competition, but still gets the job done, I think. You still have pretty good capacity in terms of towing and hauling. But we're gonna turn on the adaptive cruise Honestly, the, the sound in here, even though it's a heavy duty truck, it's not overly loud. So I really like that. And one other thing I forgot to mention, which is pretty neat. Again, this is a $106,000 truck, but when you have the vehicle locked and you go to unlock it, the tow mirrors come out, it gives you a nice little light dance. Of course, just letting you know that it's unlocked. And little things like that really help it be a little more okay, I guess, to spend this kind of money on a pickup truck, especially one that you're probably gonna be using for either towing a camper or working, something like that. But in terms of the driving overall, it's what I would expect from a heavy duty truck, maybe a bit easier because I have blind spot mo monitors the rear camera mirror, just all the safety and technology features that come on this. Now for this price point, I do think there are cheaper options, obviously, but I mean, you get a pretty, pretty loaded and decked out three quarter ton truck here from the navigation to the blind spot, adaptive cruise, 
just so many options that you get here. And then even like having the power running boards, the sunroof, it just makes you feel like you are in the king of heavy duty trucks because you just get so much in this package. And especially with the mega cab, just the space you get in here is phenomenal. So much usability. Now again, with just the overall weight of this thing, just the presence, how big it is, how tall it is, how wide it is, how long it is, it's not something that is easy to drive. Just overall, there are trucks that are easy to drive, there are definitely cars and SUVs that are easy to drive, but again, the capability you have here is what makes this such a, a desired truck. You can pull very well with it, you can haul very well with it, and it's just, with it being a limited, it is neat, and with it having the night edition package, it is easy on the eyes. One thing I will say is the hood, it's been a minute since I've seen a hood that's this intrusive on my line of sight here. It's pretty massive. It, it looks like a hood scoop. Like when you get aftermarket, which I like it, it looks tough, but it does kind of hurt visibility quite a bit because the windshield is really not as, as big as I would expect either. Not necessarily a bad thing, it just makes the forward visibility uh, just a bit harder. But I think if you're one of those looking for a, a cool heavy duty truck, money isn't an option and you just want something that has all the bells and whistles, definitely make sure you take a look at this 2024 Ram 2500 Limited Night Edition.